everyone could use a little extra cash, right? So let's find out if you have any money with the state's unclaimed property division. First step, go to claimittexas.org. Enter your name and any other details like city of residence. And hey, while you're there, you might as well search the names of your friends and family members. If you have any claimable property, it will be listed here along with the dollar amount. So let's say you are one of the lucky ones. There's a pile of money waiting to be claimed. Let's talk now about how you claim it. First, click the button that says Claim next to the listing. Next, at the top of the page, there will be a button that says View Claimed Properties. Click that. You'll then have to select from the drop-down menu your relationship to the owner of the property, like perhaps you're the owner or you are the heir or trustee for the owner. Then hit Next. On the following page, you are going to be asked to fill in things like your name, address, social security number. Then hit Next. Confirm that you're telling the truth and hit Submit. You'll likely be sent a claim from the state listing the various items that they need from you. This, we've heard, can be a pain, but the state says it's necessary to prove you are who you say you are. They're going to ask for things like your driver's license or supporting documentation showing your relationship to a property. And if you don't have the necessary document, like, for example, a copy of an old utility bill, most companies will give it to you. So you probably want to know how long will it take to get my money? Well, the Comptroller's office tells us last year, the average turnaround time for all claim types was 37 business days. But the length of time is going to depend on the type of claim. For example, airship claims take longer than if you are, say, the actual owner of the property. It also depends on whether the person claiming the property submits all the required documentation. And lastly, every state has unclaimed property, so hey, it's not a bad idea to go to the unclaimed property website for every state you've previously lived in. Who knows? You might find some money you never knew you had.